<laughs> Where do we start? <laughs> Back in 98, a lot was happening. We were a lot younger. Yes. A lot less gray hair. I had to be uh, nine. I was 11. Grew up on the same street. Two doors down from Two each other. Yep. 48219, West Side. His dad was our first customer, my mentors. I got an uncle and a grandfather, they were in the military. So growing up, they, they taught me certain things. They're like, okay, if you're gonna do something, you gotta do it to the best of your ability. So when it came to auto detailing, these two guys were probably the best two people I knew. So I used to watch them and then they used to show me little tricks to get through the process. What's going on, bro? You all right? Good to see you. That's another client of ours we've been doing business with for years. We had a lot, of, a lot of love and support from our community because we were young guys working out of the driveway. Everybody was like, okay, the little fellas are in business. Let us support them. And that's what made us grow into something that what we have now. After getting out of the hobby phase, we sat down with each other. Actually, we're sitting in the car thinking of ideas. And first, we came up with the name. It was years of actually just planning and saying, okay, we want this, we want this, we want to do this, to actually pulling the trigger and kicking the door open. I brought a small uh, Dodge Dakota. We got it painted, we got it wrapped, you know, with our, with our logo and everything, and we just went to work. Seven years later, we have a tow truck service, roadside service, something we grew from just our hobby. We were established as Mr. Sunny in 2017. Detailing is one of those things where it's really taking a step back and saying, if this was my car, am I satisfied with it? We get a lot of people to say we making their car look better than when they got it from the dealership. They love our work and they, they want to support us by passing us along to their family and friends. We love our people. Prosper Us Detroit came from some of the fellow entrepreneurs that we, we have communication with around the city. I started to go to some of the uh, events, just fell in love with the camaraderie, the fellowship, the love that the, and genuine um, support that they give. It's an organization that, that helps you not only understand what you're doing, but understand if what you're doing is for you. Because that's a lot of the questions that, that I had to answer. With that becomes the confidence to move forward if it's for you. I don't have the recipe, but I have the ingredients, consistency, discipline, networking, pouring into your community. It doesn't have to be Detroit, but wherever you are, you pour into your community and you get the support and the backing of the people that's around you. And don't be afraid to ask for help.